So basically a good uh, method to make bells is going to be obviously your money trees. So for money trees in Animal Crossing, um, every day, once per day, you're going to have access to those glowing spots on the ground. Um, since you have to run around, obviously looking around your island for it, it's random, uh, wherever on your island, I think it can be up, uh, in the cliff areas too, but, um, for, I think that may only be if you have inclines, so I'm not exactly sure, but, um, basically you're going to be looking around. Once you find the glowing spot, you can dig right there, and that is your 1,000 bell, uh, bag that you dig up. And then you can put some whatever uh, amount of bells that you would like to grow the tree. Now the thing is, for money trees, um, depending on how much you put in, depends on how much you can get out of it. So I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard to put 10,000 bells in. You may not really know why, but 10,000 bells is actually a very smart investment because you put in 10,000, you're always going to get uh, 30,000 bells in the end, which is a 20,000 profit per tree. Now you can find seven trees per week, which means one per day. So that means you're going to get 140,000 bells in a week if you go do your money tree by investing 10,000 in each time. So uh, let's let's look at every single different amount of bells you can put in and how much you can actually get out of it. So if you put in between 100 bells and 1,000 bells, you will always, no matter what, if you put in 500, 100, 1,000, whatever, you will always get three 1,000 bell bags. So if you want to invest, if you don't have very much on you and you, and you don't want to accidentally close up the uh, hole that you dug up for the money tree, then make sure that you plant a hundred bells. In that case, you will make you will you will guaranteed uh, make three thousand bells, or you'll make two thousand nine hundred bells. But you'll get three thousand bells uh, for only putting in one hundred. Whereas you can put in a thousand bells, and you're only going to make two thousand profit because you're going to be getting three thousand total and three thousand minus one thousand two thousand. So now, if you plant two thousand to 9,000 bells. The reason why we jump right to 2,000 is because obviously you can't put in 1,100 because 1,000 separates from the uh, 100 bells or five or whatever amount of bells that you have in between. So you have to go straight to 2,000. If you plant in 2,000, it's actually, there's two different things that can happen. Uh, you could get three of whatever the number you planted was, or you could get three of the minimal amount of 1,000, which you could get in this instance. So basically, if you plant three bags of 2,000 bells, you put you have a 30% chance that you will get 6,000 out of it. So two, three 2,000 bell bags. But there's also a 70% chance that you will only get three 1,000 bell bags. So technically, if you plant 2,000, you will always profit. Um, you will guaranteed get 1,000 bells profit, but you could actually make a profit of 4,000 bells. The thing is, if you're trying to make bells fast, this is probably not the best way, especially if you plant 9,000 bells. If you plant 9,000 bells, there's a 30% chance you make 18,000 bells for that tree, but there's a 70% chance you actually lose 6,000 bells as a 9,000 bell investment, and then you'll get three bags of 1,000 uh, for a 70% chance, 70% of the time. So that means you're only going to get 3,000 back from that 9,000 you actually spent. So comparing that to the investment of putting in 100, if you put in 100, you will always get 2,900 profit, 2,900 bells profit. If you put in 9,000 bells, you're actually going to lose 6,000 bells 70% of the time, meaning it's actually smarter to put less bells than more bells in this instance. If you're only going to be putting in 9,000, it's not smart. Now, putting in 10,000. Putting in 10,000 is a whole new bracket the way the game is coded. If you put in 10,000 to 99,000, which is the amount that you can put in for bells, you're actually going to be getting uh, a lot, you're going to be getting a lot more minimally. So you're always going to get three times uh, 10,000 bells at a minimum. If you put in 10,000 bells, you're, that means you're profiting 20,000 uh, because you're going to be getting 30,000, which is three times 10,000. And you're, that means you spent 10,000, 20,000 profit versus if you put in 9,000, you're only going to be getting 18,000 30 percent of the time. But this is, this is, you're always, if you put in 10,000, you're always going to get 20,000. Here's the reason because it's broken up between a 30% and a 70% bracket once again. The 30% means that you're gonna get three times again whatever you put in, and then the 70% chance is you get three times 10,000 bells. 
So that sounds nice, maybe, uh, if you put in a 99,000 bell bag. The problem is, if you put in a 99,000 bell bag, um, there's gonna be a 70%, 70% chance, 70% of the time, that you actually lose 69,000 bells. So that is actually a big loss for the majority of the time. However, 30% of the time, if you are lucky, um, and this happens more frequently than 30% just because of how odds are in mathematics, it's not gonna be exactly 30% of the time, but that is how it's coded, 30% for this to happen. Um, but that 30% of the time, you will get three 99,000 bell bags to spawn. So that means you're gonna make uh, about 300,000 bells it's actually be 297,000, but around 300,000 bells for each tree. But you're actually only going to net around 100. You're only going to net exactly 198,000 bells because you had to invest 99,000 for that tree. So if you did this for a whole week, you could easily make money if you got very lucky in terms of spending bells. But you will lose 69,000 bells for each tree that you don't get it to... Uh, the, if you don't get it under that 30% chance bracket. So that means that you will lose that 69,000 bells the majority of the time, 70% of the time. Even if it was a 50-50 odd, you would you would make bells, but it's not actually going to be as much bells as if you would make, if you would plant 10,000 because you guarantee the 140,000 bells at the end of the week. Whereas in the other one, you'd be losing 70,000 bells practically for, eat, for half the time versus making uh, not making not that much more. So actually, if it was 50-50 odds, you may actually be making more with the 99,000, but at the odds it is now, you actually aren't. In a whole year, if you did this, um, the actually, the odds would say that getting 20,000 each day is actually better than losing 70% of the time for the 99,000 bells. So it's just smarter to do the 10,000 bells. Now, some also say that if you put in 30,000, 30,000 bells is also a smart investment just because 30,000 is the number that you would guaranteed to get each time. So if you, whatever the tree is, you're going to get three bags of 10,000 bells guaranteed at least. So if you put in 30,000, that means you will either break even because you get the minimal three by 10,000 bells, or you will make 90,000 bells, which means you net, you get 60 in the end, 60,000 profit. So basically that is a foolproof way to make bells, but putting in the 10,000 actually in the long run, if you calculate it out um, in the entire year, you will actually make more guaranteeing yourself a 20,000 profit than giving you a 30% of the time making 60,000, but 70% of the time making nothing. So it's actually smarter in the end to actually just plant 10,000 bells. So even though you hear it uh, about 10,000 bells is the smartest thing, it actually is the smartest thing because a lot of the time you will hear 10,000 bells is like the highest you can put in and the highest you're going to get is 30,000 bells, which is not the case. You could get more if you plant more than the 10,000 bells, but it's actually much riskier than you'd want to usually do, at least if you're doing your money tree every day. If if you're only going to see the money tree and you're not playing every single day um, and you already have a lot of bells, maybe it's worth gambling that 99,000 bells so that you could triple the amount you get in the end. So you'd, you'd actually be only making 198,000 bells per tree. But if you did that for a week, you could make a little bit of money um, if you were lucky and you had a lot of money to actually spend. Because remember, 10,000 bells is very easy. You can maybe collect your shells, sell your fruits, do simple tasks like that just to easily get that 10,000 bells. Uh, and remember, you're also getting 1,000 bells for each of these that you dig up. So you're guaranteed getting yourself a thousand bells each time extra. So your profit will actually be a little bit higher than the what you get from the tree subtracted from how much you put into it, just because you're guaranteeing yourself a thousand bells. And if you do it every single day for the entire year, that's about 365,000 bells additionally. But anyway, if you put in 10,000, that means you only need to get 9,000 bells each time besides that 1,000 in order to plant back in the tree. You can dig it and leave the hole open as long as you don't leave the game and quit through the game, but you just have to find a way to make that extra bells because it's a lot more affordable to put 10,000 bells in there than have to get 99,000 bells each day to not even make it all the time. And 30,000 bells, especially when you're starting the game, and if you're doing this without time traveling, then you're definitely going to want to make bells the right way this way and you're definitely going to want to invest 10,000 because it's just best in the long run. Also, just in case you do want to time travel, um, the game does decide, or not even time traveling, just closing the game before it auto saves or saves in general. When you plant the money, the game decides that exact moment, as soon as you plant it, how much bells that tree is going to get you. So it's not like you can plant it 
you let it grow and if it's not the amount you want you can close the game and then go back and then see how much bells that that tree can actually get you as a different number you can't keep resetting and hoping that the 99,000 bells is actually going to be tripling it because 30 percent of the time you it will be you will get that 297,000 bells from the tree but no it's predetermined as soon as you put in the bells in the ground so that's when it's randomly chosen so hope you guys this helps